Hey guys, Chris Floats here, back for week two. So anyways, new week, now refreshed for my proper night's sleep for once since the school year started. Like, my god, I was, I was not getting much sleep at all for like the last week pretty much, but last night I just whoo, went to bed at 10, slept like a baby through 6.45, which was like 45 minutes after my alarm. God, that was ridiculous. I just, I woke up and I like half panicked, like, oh, 6.45, holy crap, I should have been up 45 minutes ago. I know, I probably sound ridiculous, but um, I got about 15 minutes before I head, I head to school right now, so I'm just kind of chilling. I'm still working on editing the vlog that is going to be released tomorrow because like I said in that vlog I'm releasing these week-long videos on Tuesdays and they're just kind of week-long compilations into one coherent vlog well semi coherent maybe kind of <laughs> and there's a cat roaming around with a, de uh, with a toy mice toy mouse again um, yeah, so anyways, like I said, I'm just, I'm still working on editing that right now. I actually had some importing errors. I forgot the file type that this camcorder uses is not actually under the proper file types that my um, video editor accepts, which is HitFilm Express 2017. And um, I used to use Adobe Premiere Elements 15, I believe, and it had this file extension, but HitFilm doesn't. So now I have to go in and convert all of these clips, which takes a little bit of extra time. So I should still have this one out on time as long as tonight, since I don't work, I'll just go straight to editing the vlog. And then uh, once I get that done, then I'll work on homework while it's exporting. So I actually, I shouldn't have too much homework tonight anyways. It should be a fairly easy night, seeing as it's the Monday, and we don't really have much going on yet, because it's still only the third week of school, and actually our first full week of school. So... This will this will be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to do this. So, yeah, I'm just gonna carry on through my week now. Um, just lots of editing this week. That's that's what it's gonna be. Is a lot of editing because I have to finish editing my short film. I got the rough draft done. I sent it to my people. I had them look at it. They've already given me some awesome feedback. So I'm gonna go in tonight after I do the vlog and get my homework done. I'm gonna do some tweaking on that. Probably be pulling some late nights this week, but it's gonna be worth it because it's gonna be a great short film and I'll have it ready to release this Thursday. Um, and I actually, I still need to do my YouTube shoot day because I didn't do that on Saturday. I didn't have anything ready for it. I didn't have any outlines or anything ready for Shadow Sniper Films videos. So I'm going to do those this week. I'm going to do a movie review and a product review. I just got to get the scripts written and taken care of. And then we should all, be, I should be all good to do that. Well, actually, not quite because I still have that monstrosity to take care of. That there is my studio slash office space for YouTube. And as you can see, it is not the cleanest. So I'm going to have to do a little montage of cleaning my desk again because I'm like the worst person about cleaning an area, keeping it clean for about a week, and then instantly getting it dirty like this. Like, well, to be fair, this was also from taking apart that table uh, and then also repainting this room in case you guys didn't see that in the last one. We painted this room again, like these walls are all just a light gray, and then our accent wall over here is a nice dark gray. And I really love the look of it, so hopefully it'll actually make my Shadow Sniper Films videos look a lot cooler too, because the background will be a lot more pleasing. And here's my aluminum print from the local newspaper of what I got on the uh, front page of the newspaper, and actually I got above the fold, which is awesome, so... Yeah, anyways, um, I'm going to have to let you guys go now. I've been going for four and a half minutes. I'm probably not going to use all this ranting. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go for right now, guys. Got to go to school, and then I will check in you guys again when I actually start doing stuff. I'm going to try to actually do some more exciting things this week. So, yep, be back to y'all in a little while. Okay, guys, so it is now Tuesday morning. And remember, uh, well, at the end of the last vlog, I talked about how bad the smoke in Montana was getting from all of these fires up north and in Canada and um, yeah it's it's not getting any better like I just want to show you right now okay so it's 720 the sun is supposed to be just up and shining and normal right now it was not scheduled to be a cloudy day at all yeah see all I can smell is fire but like 
that's all hazed right there. That's that entire sky is smoke, and the camera is kind of showing it as blue right now. But for me, it's actually like orange out here. Like this is terrifying. It's it's like uh, an apocalypse film out here. It's not even funny. See if the white balance will adjust. Probably not. But yeah, no, it's it's getting really bad. Like it's so here. I'll even I'll take a picture with my phone. Okay, so. <clears throat> Just so you guys can get a little reference, I'll probably flash it on screen here. Uh, but in case I forget to, here is what it looks like outside. That's actually like not even an exaggeration of how orange it is. I just have automatic white balance set on this camera. So it just automatically adjusted to make everything look white. But yeah, no, it's it's like it's orange out here. It's because all that smoke is covering the sun. So the sun's trying to shine through all that, you know, which in the morning is usually that nice golden orange light, but it's now getting blocked by all this smoke and whatnot that is absorbing that color and still sending it out to us just like very dull and dark. And it's like, oh my God, it's, it's actually scary. I'm not even joking. Like this is terrifying to see all of this, and how bad it's getting. Even though like a week ago it was perfectly clear out, like we had a couple of days where there was just no smoke at all. And then it would come back kind of gradually, you know, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's just like this. It's insane. So, yeah, I'm not, uh, not particularly keen on that. But anyways, aside from all the smoke bull crap going on, uh, I actually get to teach my media lesson today, so it's 7.23, so right now I gotta get packed up for it. And my next short film is gonna be coming out this week, although it'll already, out, already be out by the time this vlog is released. So if you haven't yet, go check out Shot, I'll link it in the description. It is my favorite short film that I've done so far. It was my favorite to edit, and it was just kind of like my favorite overall film, um, just with the way everything worked together and flowed. So. I would still rate Priceless as my favorite story though, like that's, either that or Frozen in Place are my two favorite stories. So, anyways, before I continue on ranting again, alright guys, it is now Thursday morning, I officially released Shot today, and I'm excited to see how the response goes. For you guys, it's already out, but for me, I'm going to wait to see how things turn out and how people actually respond to this short film. In my opinion, it's honestly the best one I've done so far, and it is raining. You probably can't see it all that well, but it's actually raining outside right now. This is awesome. That's actually really good news. It's not like a heavy rain or anything. It's just kind of like a, a decent sprinkle, but it's something. It's rain that we haven't had for like weeks. So uh, it's still lunch right now on uh, Thursday. The uh, actually shot is doing really good right now. We're at like 14 views so far last time I checked, which for my channel for Shots Never Films is actually pretty good. So that's awesome. Definitely happy to see that. So anyways, I'm going to head back to school right now. I just wanted to let you guys know that really quick that it's actually raining. This is awesome. So anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys all again later. All right, everyone. Saturday morning. Super excited. I'm actually in my studio now. It's somewhat cleaned. It's, uh, I just need to do a few more, move a few more things, and then it'll be good to go. But I'm actually going to be doing my Chef's Ember Films recordings today that I was originally planning to do last week, but I didn't have outlines done yet, so I got them done like two days ago, and now they're ready to go. Well, only one of them, actually, but I only need one for right now because the other one is going to require a lot of B-roll shots. This one is just me talking to the camera, so that's nice and easy. Movie reviews are, like, my best friend because they're just, they're so simple. It's just me giving my opinion on the movie, and I don't really need any extra B-roll. I mean, I probably should have some, but I it's kind of hard for me to get some of those clips like you see in other movie reviews where they actually show, like, parts of the film itself. So I don't necessarily have access to all those, so I just kind of do a face-to-face -face thing. With, like, product reviews, I actually, you'll notice I get a lot of B-roll for that usually, but... Anyway, so today I'm going to be doing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 review. Um, so hopefully that goes out great. I'll have a link in the description for it when it comes out, because this will be out before that review. But, yeah, anyways, so, and then on top of that, I actually got to borrow a Canon T7i to just kind of screw around with and get familiar with because this is what my media class is using. They got the T7i video creator kit so it comes with the T7i itself, extra battery packs, an extra charger and my favorite part, a Rode mic, a Rode video mic so that is super awesome. We got 11 of these so the whole class gets their own camera and it's gonna be so much fun but once again I actually need to go through and use this so I can get used to it myself and be able to properly teach them how to use it. So 
I'm definitely excited to get messing around with this, and I'm just, ah, oh, it's so nice. I love Canon, and I love Rode. Like, this is, like, the perfect creator kit for me for, like, a starter. And it wasn't even, like, that bad, really. It was, I think it's only, like, a thousand bucks on Amazon for the full kit. Because you're getting a body, a lens, and a, a microphone, plus a 32 gigabyte SD card and extra batteries. It's, like, that was, it, it's so worth it, so... Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna do like I'm gonna finish cleaning up here, and then I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do my product or my move here review first. Anyways, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and get right to work. Okay, so it's Sunday now. Uh, it's 3:30 in the afternoon. I got all my camera stuff charging. Got battery over there, battery right there, and where is it? Battery right there. So I got two batteries for. The T7i getting charged up right now. I have a third one. I just don't have a third charger. So I'm getting two charged right now. So I'll have two ready and then I'll get a third one charging while the other two are ready to go. I've got the little Rode video mic on top. Super excited to get using this thing and just testing it out. Um, so I'll show you guys a few clips that I get. I'll just kind of snag some from my family and whatnot while they're chilling out. They're going to be over in about half an hour for my brother's birthday party. His birthday was last week. So we're just celebrating today. And like I said, the family's going to come over, we're going to have a barbecue and stuff and just kind of enjoy life. So I'll try to get some sweet shots with that, hopefully, and just kind of test out its limits. I'll do some pictures, video, get some stuff for audio in there. It'll be fun. So definitely excited to test it out and just kind of see the capabilities of this equipment. Because once again, I have to teach a class how to use this. And if I don't know how to use it properly, then it's going to be tough. So yeah, that'll be very interesting. I think I'm just going to leave it in automatic mode because that's mostly what the students are going to be using anyways. So that'll be kind of interesting, but yeah, so I'm going to go for it. Now I also have my drone battery charging too, because I want to just fly that around for a bit. Always love flying my drone. So yeah, I'm just going to chill for a little bit while I wait. Hopefully my stuff will be done before if everyone leaves or before the major stuff happens. So yeah, I will see you guys later. So here we are at the end of week two. Had a good time. Ate a lot of food. I am super full right now. It's like 8.30. I'm just going to get to work on editing this vlog because it's going to take a long time. I got a lot of footage with the T7i. I freaking love that camera. I'm thinking about getting one myself actually just from using it. Like that, that camera is so much better than the T5i. The built-in body stabilization is awesome combined with the lens stabilization. Uh, the autofocus was really quick. There was just a whole lot of different features that this camera had that I felt was a huge upgrade. And I really loved it. So I'm thinking about it. I'm probably not going to go with it just yet. Uh, I'm going to do some more looking and stuff before I think about getting a new body. I also need to get new lenses right now too. So that's kind of a thing as well. But for right now, the T5i does suit my purposes fairly well. And I can definitely get along with it. So... I'll keep looking, I'll keep thinking, probably not going to make any investments just yet once again, but it is definitely a thought in my mind now that T7i is awesome. So anyways, 
once again, end of week two. I'll see you guys all next time. I'll start vlogging again tomorrow. Peace out.